Uh, how are one? Um, uh, speaking to you is Chona Mgazi, uh, the SHIG coordinator at Asia Africa, and I would like to welcome everyone to Asia Africa uh, e-launch episode 13. Special thanks to those who have been participating in all the, the previous episodes and those who have uh, managed to attend them. Thank you for your support. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone who have just joined us today. Uh, welcome to our Asia Launch uh, webinar series. So it's actually a sad thing. Uh, at global level, as indicated by ILO, the, the whole state statistics indicate that 6,000 people uh, die every day because of workplace injuries. And uh, because of this, I've uh, done a little bit analysis and drilled it down to, to, to one minute to find out that four people in a minute are dying every day uh, because of workplace injuries. And if you drill down to 15 seconds, you find that in, in every 50 seconds, 15 seconds, we, we are experiencing uh, one people is dying because of workplace um, injuries. So these statistics are actually saddening, and uh, that's why we have taken this initiative as Asia Africa to promote uh, environmental safety and health management standards across all African countries in every organization so that uh, every organization can manage to implement resilient environmental and health management systems. So because of this, we have managed to, 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 to do uh, a number of sessions. And as you can see, we are now on episode 13, 13 of all our sessions. And from these sessions, we are trying to build uh, information synergies amongst uh, environmental health and safety professionals, company owners, as well as, as, as the community to, to achieve our objective. So for those who have just, just joined us today, uh, welcome and uh, today, uh, our session is going to start off with a two-box talk, and for that we have Mr. Tinashe Ruzani. He's going to take us through horseplay at the workplace and give us a few pointers on that subject. Then we'll jump into the main discussion, that is sexual harassment at the workplace, and we have a guest presenter for that, that, that is Tarisai Muchina. And then uh, as we commence with our discussion after the main presentation, we are going to launch a poll survey uh, for, 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 his, for research purposes. And this uh, survey is, uh, uh, for this survey, uh, anonym, anonymity is, uh, is guaranteed. You are free to, 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 to share your experience with, with honesty. Then we are going to, to do a few announcements at the end. Then uh, we jump into a group photo uh, as, we, as we conclude. So for the smooth flow of our session, uh, we encourage everyone to mute your mic if you are not uh, contributing, if you are not speaking so that we avoid any background disruptions. And uh, for our video, it's optional to, to, to leave your video on or off, and uh, if you have anything that you want to say, you may use the, the, this, the, the chat section, and also let's make use of uh, the reaction button so that the presenter or the facilitator can, can, not, can, can notice you. So everyone, let's take this opportunity and enjoy ourselves in this discussion. So like I highlighted, we are going to start off with a two-box talk, and for that we have Mr. Tina Sheruzani. Mr. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Tina Sheruzani. Uh, I hope all you can hear me clear. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, so I'm going to take you through our toolbox talk uh, on horseplay at the workplace. What is horseplay? Uh, what are the consequences of horseplay? Uh, what can we do? so that we can solve the challenge in our workplace. This is what I'm going to take you through. So first, start by defining horseplay. Horseplay is when employees play practical jokes on one another. It's often considered as a friendly way to blow out steam and reduce work tension while improving the friendly relation among coworkers. But uh, generally, horseplay uh, is anything uh, that involve playing practical jokes, uh, such as pranks, harassment, or any unethical playing around the workplace. Uh, and 
it mostly leads to some devastating uh, challenges at the working environment. Uh, so here, uh, I have uh, scenarios uh, of worst play which lead to injuries at workplace. Uh, I'll start by the removal of caution sign uh, on a wet flow. Uh, the, this one, I'll start by the removal of caution sign on a wet flow. This one, we have a scenario of this coworker will remove the wet flow caution sign uh, and the coworker fold uh, and broke his arm. And also we have this one uh, of the forklift riding. Uh, this coworker is riding the forklift while he's is in motion, uh, which leads in him having some severe injuries, uh, which he nearly survived fertility. Uh, and also we have this one uh, of office rice. Uh, these guys were having a rice within the office uh, while riding their chairs. Uh, this one did not end well. Uh, they were all terminated uh, from their workplace. Uh, we also have scenarios uh, of situations. Maybe we'll be throwing objects uh, uh, at workplace. We have also another scenario of some people who got hit uh, on sensitive parts such as the eye or the face, uh, which did not end well. Uh, and we face injury at the other workplace. Uh, I also managed to draft some safety tips for us to avoid voice play in our workplace. Uh, the first one is to stay busy at work. Uh, whenever we have excessive downtime at work, let's try to make sure we occupy ourselves with something better rather than worse play. Uh, another one is don't initiate worse play at a workplace. You don't want to be the one being blamed of all the injuries being faced due to worse play. Please don't initiate. Uh, also advise us not to participate, uh, even if you did not initiate it, but don't participate in worse play. Uh, don't just turn a blind eye uh, when you see horse play uh, in your workplace. Uh, we need to report any horse play in, uh, participant we have noticed our, in our workplace. Uh, let's report to, to our supervisors. Uh, this will save you, this will save your co workers. Uh, uh, this is my final thought on horse play. Let's check our job uh, very serious at work uh, by making sure we do not participate in horse play. We have noticed some people got terminated because of horse play in the workplace. Uh, let us be responsible with our workplace. Remember your safety is your responsibility. Let's make sure we are responsible. Let's make sure we take all safety regulations serious so that we make sure that we are safe at our workplace. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, let me leave this time for questions, comments, and, and discussions. Thank you, Mr. Zani, for, for, for that insightful presentation. Uh, he's calling up for anyone who might want to, to add something, comments, questions on the subject from the, from the participants. Okay, uh, like what Mr. Ruzani presented, uh, workplace was played. The workplace is actually a safety hazard and it can lead to, 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 to a number of incidents. And uh, with, with, if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you can do a research, you can see that those com most companies that, that, that tolerate uh, play at, at their workplaces, the ones are actually facing uh, some of the issues to do with sexual harassment, whereby uh, an employee is sexually harassed in, a, in an attempt to, 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 to initiate a uh, horse play. But in, in those cases, uh, when they try to report it to, 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 to their superiors, to their managers, they will take it not serious because they will, in, 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 in their perception, it's normal 
for, for, for someone to, to be conducted in, in any way that person may have been uh, conducted. So that's why you see some of the issues to, to do with sexual harassment, psychological issues, mental health issues are not addressed because of some of these hazards that we are tolerating at our workplaces. So it is, it is actually advisable for us to, to take note of these hazards, these issues at our workplaces, they are addressed. Of course, it's nice to to play, to make it's nice to, to, to make jokes like work, but when they become practical, they, that's when they, 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 they become dangerous. So there's there's need to, to address some of these issues. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ruzani, for that. I don't know if there's someone who might want to add something to this discussion as we prepare for the main session. A few years back, the, it's a manufacturing plant, uh, so there was somebody who was doing the cleaning on the floor and it's this epoxy floors. So uh, when it's wet, it's a bit slippery. And I think the previous day there had been a match, uh, I think Manchester United and something. So uh, there was a guy who was coming down the corridor, uh, which was being cleaned with a trolley, a steel trolley. And the person who was cleaning the floor was his friend. And so they started joking, those, you know, the host play, uh, joking about the game. And uh, I mean, doing like a dance there because I think the Manchester United had won the previous night. And in the process, uh, this guy who was uh, with the trolley, he, he slipped uh, on the wet floor and he fell and he hit the trolleys, uh, one of the trolley legs, per se, and he hit his head. Uh, of course, this escalated to, he had to undergo some first aid and then uh, he had to be taken to hospital. So this was a case that I witnessed of um, a horseplay escalating to an incident in the workplace. Yes. Uh, thank you, Helen, for, for, uh, for that experience that you have. And also, thank you, Tinashe, for a great uh, presentation on that one. I also witnessed uh, one of uh, the worst play while, while there was some construction area. Uh, like you said, some people, they used to chop using their teams and stuff like that. However, my workplace during that time, they used to, to, to what I can say, to pop uh, maize in the shovels during lunch times and break time. So that was a little bit chilly. So they took corn, put in the, uh, in the shovel where they pop the, the corn for, we call it Maputi from the side in Zimbabwe. Uh, those things that we use, uh, I, 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 I think you can get what I say. So the guys, they, they eat up the, what they have popped in the shovel. So the other guy said, um, I understand all you guys because you are not getting paid. You 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 come here to to, to feed up using this corn for the company, and you get uh, food. Why did you go home? You don't have anything to eat. So the guys by that joke, a simple joke, escalated a tremendous fight between the, uh, the the employees because it was some people they took it personal. It was more like a, a true joke that uh, implies to other people's life. Uh, to your employees, they fought, they used the shovel that they, they, they were popping up the, uh, the corn on and hit another guy in, in the forehead. Unfortunately, the guy uh, got a big scar on the forehead and the issue escalated, the guy went to the hospital and all this stuff. So the issue of hospital need to be addressed at workplace. So, so this is the experience that I experienced during the construction area. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so for that, um, Nay. And also I've noticed that um, not personally from my own experience, but um, I've witnessed that not only can it be physically um, hurtful on who they're doing the horseplay to, but it can also be emotionally you know, embarrassing. It can be humili humiliating. I mean, you know, some employees, they do this prank and they don't know where to stop. So I think people really need to consider that is the person that they're doing the prank or the horseplay, are they willing? So I think they need to be really be mindful that it can be hurtful, it can be embarrassing and very humiliating. So I think, 
you know, everyone in the workplace should be aware of these things. And like I said, you know, some people don't really know where to stop. Thank you. Mr. Tinashe, and uh, thank you for that presentation on uh, workplace, uh, workplace horseplay. Uh, guys, let's address uh, horseplay at our workplace. And uh, of course, it's, it's, not, it's not good to work uh, with serious faces. They, they need to joke around, but let's make sure that uh, those jokes, they, they, only, they are only limited to, to, to verbal jokes, no practical jokes. And uh, one thing, of course, employees, may want to play around. So it is advisable as company owners, uh, as employers that we plan for recreational uh, events that will promote uh, our workers to, 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 to play around and do all those things so that they won't do it whenever they are working. We, we want everyone to work safely and responsibly and finish their job the way they started it. Okay, thank you for that.